Today I will discuss Shevning Scholarship and you should hurry up as it's open from September 2023 for the year 2024 intake. Shevning Scholarship is fully funded scholarship to undertake any master's course at any UK university. These scholarships are fully funded and which includes your flights, accommodation and your course fees. Everything is included. So let's discuss the eligibility criteria for the Shevning Scholarship. The eligibility criteria for Shevning Scholarship, you must be eligible for the Shevning Scholarship belonging to Shevning's country or territory. Return to your country of citizenship for a minimum of two years after your course has ended. So basically, you must be from the Shevning eligible country, which I'll discuss later in this video. Return to your country. So for example, your course finish. As soon as your course finish, you need to go back to your country. You need to work over there for two years or you need to stay there regardless. After that, you can go anywhere. That's the min minimum eligibility criteria for the Shevning scholarship. Have completed all components of your undergrad degree and you must be able to enter into the postgrad program. Your undergrad must be 2 1 honors degree or probably pass, which we call about. You must have at least two years of work experience or 2,800 working hours equal. Apply for three different eligible UK universities courses. So you must apply for three different universities courses before you apply for this scholarship. You must have received an unconditional offer from one of these choices by the deadline listed on the application timeline. Okay. So these are the minimum eligibility criteria. Now let's discuss why if you are not eligible for Shevning scholarship, what could be the reason that you are not eligible for the Shevning scholarship? So if you hold British nationality or dual nationality, then you are not eligible for this scholarship. You hold a refugee status in a non Shevning eligible country. Are an employee or a former employee of a relative of an employee of his majesty government or have been working for two years for the opening of the Shevning scholarship, including. So if you, for example, working in British embassy in anywhere abroad or anywhere, then you are not eligible. If you are working for Ministry of Defense, you are not eligible for this scholarship. So these are the basic conditions that you are not eligible. Now let's discuss the application timeline when you can apply for this scholarship. So good news is the application is now open. It was open on 12th of September 2023. That's when the application was open. And now 7th November is the last date. Before 7th November, you have to apply this. That's the last final date for that. It will close. From 8th November 2023, the application are shifted against eligibility criteria. So they will start considering your application against the eligibility criteria. Mid-November to December 2023, that's where the reading committee assessment will start. So they will do the assessment on your application. Early to mid-February 2024, that's when the application shortlist for interviews. So all the applications which they will get, they will start shortlisting them for the interviews. And on 20th February 2024, reference and educational documents deadline. So for example, if you haven't completed your degree or you don't have your degree, but you will get your degree in January, for example. So that's when you have to submit your degree. So you can apply for the scholarship just now. But you will get the degree, but you must have two years of experience. That's most important thing like for that scholarship. 26th February to 26th April 2024. That's when the interview will take place. All the interview will take place during that period. From June 2024, results will come. That's when the results will start coming about the scholarship. And 11th July is the offer deadline. So if you are selected for the scholarship, you have 11th July, that's the last date when you have to confirm that you going for that scholarship. September, October 2024, that's when your course will start and you will come to UK and you will start studying in the UK. The important, the good thing is the scholarship is fully funded. You will get the flights. You will get the accommodation money. 
you will get the rent basically that will be paid everything will be included and your fees will be paid so the, you don't you're not paying anything it's a fully funded scholarship is one of the best scholarship i should say and personally i know people who have used this scholarship and they are like you know very successful at the moment okay now find a course which course you wanted to study so let's discuss that. So if you wanted to find a course, for example, which course you wanted to study. So you go on this Shebling Scholarship website, uh, for example, write finance. So if we go finance, it will give you a list of universities. So there are 885 postgraduate courses in finance, which you can pick on this scholarship. And you only need to apply three universities. If I put, for example, um, computing, so let's discuss computing. So 489 courses you have for the postgraduate courses in computing. So all the list is over there. So it's very straightforward. You don't have to do any like, you know, hard work. So for example, if anyone wanted to do the computing games, technology, MSc program, that's the institute um you got full list of universities so if for example you wanted to study in bradford so they have the course applied computing science and artificial intelligence msc and this course basically this is the list of courses which confirms you that you can get the scholarship if you pick these courses so this is a long list and you can search on this website you just need to go find a course so shevning.org scholarship forward slash find a course and that's where you will get all this list okay now we will find the deadline of the scholarship and we will also look for the countries which countries are eligible so you go on that scholarship and then you go on the who can apply and under the section of who can apply you will go down and that's where you will get the list of countries which countries can get this scholarship so if you belongs to afghanistan albania algeria angola uh, all these people like you know all these countries bangladesh uh, which also includes cambodia china cuba egypt iraq iran india pakistan nepal if you belongs to any of these countries, you are eligible for this Shevning scholarship. Only thing you need to do is just to apply and you need to apply for three different universities and you need to get the minimum criteria completed. And the minimum criteria must be completed before the deadline. So you still have like time for that to complete the minimum criteria okay now we will also discuss if you wanted to know about the work experience or anything about this so you will click on this website you have the work experience requirement so this will explain you what do they actually mean by work experience so eligible type of work experience so you must be full-time the type of work experience are eligible for chevron included full-time employment, part-time employment, voluntary work, paid and unpaid internship. So all these works considers as eligible for the working experience. So if you working as a unpaid internship, if you're doing that for two years, or you're working as a voluntary for Red Cross organization for two years, you are eligible for this scholarship. So if you have any question regarding this scholarship, drop me an email and I'll get back to you.